Hi everyone, it's Veronica and Lulu. Say hi, Lulu. Hi. Say hi to everyone. Um, this is just gonna be like a super, super short haul video, so I just thought I'd show Lulu. He's very fluffy. He's actually due to be like completely shaved down because his fur is so matted. But here's Lulu. He's saying hello. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching my videos. He's definitely the cutest thing I've ever shown in a haul video. He's adorable. Say hi. Can you give mommy a kiss before you go? Can I have a kiss? Oh, thank you. Right on the mouth. Okay, bye everyone. Okay, I'm gonna put him down real quick. There you go. So that's Lulu, my little... A lot of people ask um, what breed he is. He's half um, Shih Tzu and half miniature poodle. So his, his dad was a miniature poodle with red hair and his mom was um, a Shih Tzu with black and white. So hope that makes sense. Um, before I start this video, um, I'll just quickly show, um, in my last video, I wore a hot pink um, off the shoulder top, exactly the same as this green one I'm wearing right now. Um, and it's from Target and a lot of people were asking about it and I did put the link to purchase it in my last video, but I just wanted to show it here um, really quickly. So it's just a simple loose top. This one is a medium, the pink, and then the one I'm wearing in the green is the small. Um, just because that's the only sizes they had. And it's just a super nice loose shirt. And I'm wearing a Lululemon tank top under it. So that's how it fits for anyone wondering. And you don't have to wear it off the shoulder um, like I am. I just like to wear it off the shoulder. So I'm wearing it that way. Um, so like I said, this is going to be a super, super quick haul video. Um, I went I went to the mall today and I checked out a few stores. But mainly um, the only store I got something was from Zara. And I just want to make a quick like note that... The stuff at Zara right now is amazing. Like every single time I go there, I buy something because it's so cute and so good. So um, here's my big bag. I got a big bag today because I picked out about four things. Um, and I'll start with this one. This is one of the ones I'm the most excited about. It's a blazer. I'm like on a blazer kick right now. And it's like a bright blue color. And it has the lining with the stripes on the inside. And it's um, the fabric is a linen. And then look how cute. First of all, it has these little buttons on the sleeve. And then the sleeve has little polka dot, um, like it's like a dark nude color um, lining, like a silk lining with polka dot. So I'll quickly put this on. And just as a note on sizing of it, on this, I got this in a size small, but I almost wish there would have been something between a small and a medium. And I'll tell you why. Um, so this is the small. Um, so you can kind of see how it fits there. Um, and then I have my little sleeves rolled up. Now, the reason I was saying I wish there was something between a small and a medium is because this size small fits me fine and I can actually button it. I usually have to get a medium in Zara Blazers, but for some reason with this one, I can actually button it in a size small. But my only um, concern with this is the shoulders. I mean, they're not like I can move back and forth, but like when I go really, really far, it does get a little bit tight. But the reason I ended up choosing the size small is because the size medium was so loose throughout the waist and everywhere else that it just made me look bigger all over. Whereas this one is more streamlined and it really is much more of a flattering cut. Plus this is a nice lightweight linen, so it's gonna be perfect for summer. So I'm not really expecting to layer like heavier shirts or anything under it. So I think this will be a really nice um, fit for the summer. And then as you can see, it has the detailing on the sleeve there and the button. So I really like that. I'll just take it off real quick. Um, so yeah, this blazer I think was like 89 and it's really nicely constructed. It has very light shoulder pads um, in it. So I really like it. It's a nice, bright, fun color for um, spring and summer. So glad to have gotten this piece. But you know, just on a sizing note, try on both sizes and if this small, fits you, but it's, I still think the small is more flattering on than the medium. I even took pictures and when I looked back on the pictures, I thought, oh, I'm so glad I got the small because the medium just kind of looked, if it was a longer jacket, I think I could have gotten the medium, but because it's more of a cropped style, I just felt the small was more flattering. Okay, I digress. I'll go to the next thing and it's these pants. I told you in my last video last week that I knew I was gonna go back and buy these pants in another color and I did and I ended up getting them in the black. So again, these are those um, pants with the um, little fold at the ankle. So they're ankle length dress pants and they come with the black or, or the brown belt. And um, I also have these in the jade color that I got last week. So I just decided to, they fit so great and they're so flattering and comfortable and nice that I ended up getting another pair. And these ones are 59. 
just for anyone wondering. And I take a size six in these. Um, and then the next thing I got is like the cutest thing ever. Okay, this is like bright, bright neon pink. It's kind of like J. Crew's neon azalea color for anyone who has pieces in that color. But the coolest thing about this top is that it has these gold pyramid buttons. I don't know if you can see them, but I just thought what a cute detail on this top. And then it also has the same gold pyramid buttons on the little sleeve. Um, I got this in a medium. This fits extremely small, definitely size up on this one. And um, it is the shorter in the front and longer in the back. And this is just such a cute little top. I just love it. It's so sheer and pretty for summer. This is something that you could dress up for work, tuck it into a pair of pants or a skirt, or you could just wear it with a pair of skinny jeans or, oh gosh, Lulu's growling, um, or a pair of skinny jeans or something. Maybe he doesn't like the shirt. I don't know. Um, no, I think he sees something outside, but yeah, you could just wear this with skinny jeans. You could wear it with a pair of like white shorts. It would look amazing just as a casual top in the summer. It's a nice versatile piece. And this does come also in, I believe like a white and like a super, super bright green. So, um, I prefer the pink obviously, but, um, I really love this top. And then the last thing I got, um, is a pair of heels and I don't know hundred percent if I'm keeping these yet because I'm ordering a couple more pairs from the Zara website. Um, I do not fit into Zara's shoes unless it's a size 11. Like normally in shoes, I take a 10. Most of my shoes are size 10. Um, but their shoes, I don't know if it's because it's European sizing and it's just different, but the 11s are the only ones that will fit me. So this is what they look like. And they are just, um, they are just like a, like a dark nude colored heel, like a, not as not as dark as a cognac but not as light as a nude and i just bought the heel is very reasonable it looks like a three looks like about a three and a half inch heel oh gosh sorry lulu's there's construction going on outside so he's always barking at the construction workers um so these are them and um, the reason i got these was because they looked really flattering on and i don't have heels that are closed toe that are this color um they what I did was while I tried on clothes at Zara, I just kept them on the whole time to see kind of how they felt. And they did feel comfortable. The right one's a little tight. So what I'm going to do is order two more pairs of Zara shoes online in the size 11. Wait till they come in, try all three of them on and see how I like them. I probably will end up keeping these because I think they're a nice classic shoe. Um, and I like that I, you know, they're not new. They're not black. It's a little something different. Um, and I just want to also make another note. So these are like, they're not patent. They're just like a smooth leather. And I went to the shoe doctor today. Um, there's, there's this Houston shoe hop hospital and they repair shoes and there's tons of shoe places that can repair stuff, but they're known for doing like a really good job. And I brought my Kate Spade um, shoes in there. And for some reason, every single pair of patent leather shoes I've ever owned ever get like little, like little slits on the side like right near this part of the shoe they get like little slits they get tears from wearing them and i don't know if it's because i wear them too much i probably do wear them you know too often i'm not giving them a break or if they're just not good quality but whether it's been a 50 dollars pair of jessica simpson's shoes or kate spade like no matter what brand i've tried with patent leather it happens every time and the shoe doctor actually told me that they couldn't fix patent leather because once the slit is in it there's really no way for them to stitch it up without it looking bad so um they couldn't fix them so there go my kate spade pumps which i love i'm still like contemplating just trying to like super glue them to see what happens um but at this point they're kind of ruined and i can wear them but the slits are so evident now like you can actually see them um that I don't know that I'll be able to continue to wear them, but I love those shoes. So I might try to salvage them in some way. So the guy at the shoe hospital actually recommended that I stop buying patent leather and just buy le like leather shoes or like the suede kind of leather, because he said that those are more likely to expand and less likely to tear. And he also said that he noticed that the inner part of my shoe, or was it the inner or the outer? I don't remember, but he said like either one of the sides of my shoe, he noticed that there was more wear on one side of my shoe, which means I guess it's the inner part because he says I probably like, you know, put my foot in towards the inner part of my shoe. Like most of my weight goes there when I walk. So maybe that's just something I need to be more conscious of or anyways, I'm rambling on about something that has nothing to do with this haul, but I got these shoes. I'm going to order a couple more pairs. Both of them have like pointy toes, a little bit of a lower heel and one's a nude pair and one's a black pair. And they're both like a suede kind of leather from Zara. So, um, I'll see when those come in and let you all know how those fit and that's everything. And I am actually about to like 
venture out to um, completely redo my closet. Um, a lot of you know that we painted our whole house um, last weekend and then throughout the whole week the painters were here painting. We literally painted every room in the house except for the one I'm in now because this would eventually be a baby's room. So there's really no point in painting it because we would have to paint it, you know, depending on if we had a boy or a girl um, or both. I don't know. Maybe I would get that. I'm just kidding. Not twins. No twins. But um, you know, you just, there's no point in painting it. So we had the whole house painted and I had my closet painted like this nice, beautiful, like medium shade of gray and there's nothing in it. Like right now, I'll show at the end of my video what this room looks like right now. My, this room is covered, maybe I won't show it cause it's bad, but <laughs> my entire floor of this office is covered in every piece of clothing I own. Like they're all in piles still on hangers because I just didn't have anywhere to put them while they were painting and this is the only room that wasn't being painted so we're kind of living in craziness now so my goal is to film my closet empty and to first for the first time use editing software i never edit any of my videos but i want to show a before and after and possibly show like how it looks as i'm putting everything together and then i want to do a whole video about how to organize your closet how i organize my closet and what i found of the best techniques are so I plan to do that i'm trying to do it today and i'm about to like go change into sweatpants and take my shoes off and take all of my jewelry off and just like go and hit that closet and start working on it so wish me luck cross your fingers for me and i also want to give a quick shout out to one of my blog readers and video watchers her name's nicole and so hi nicole um i actually met her today at starbucks um so randomly um i was just waiting for my coffee um and my little breakfast sandwich to be done and she came up and said hi like you're veronica and you know we met and we shook hands and um it was so cool to have met her at starbucks i've met a few of my readers before um but it was just so cool to like randomly see her there and run into her there and i totally remembered her because she posts on my facebook page a lot and like you know we've chatted back and forth by email so it's so cool when you meet someone in your hometown who like reads your blog and watches your videos and she's so sweet so i just want to say a quick hi to um, nicole and uh, that's everything for today i'm going to try and film another one before it gets dark and i'll see you guys later bye